55 pounds last bout of the night in white is Nick Cavanello of Wadsworth wrestling Garrett Gray of Oregon Clay. Both of these wrestlers seniors, Cavanello looking to become a three-time state champion. Four, he already is a four-time placer. Cavanello will be wrestling here next fall for the Ohio State Buckeyes. We saw fellow Ohio State classmate Mark Martin win one earlier. Cavanello gets close to a leg, can't quite finish though. 30 seconds gone by, no score first period. Cavanello won his first two titles down at 215. It's moved up to heavyweight. Expects to be a college heavyweight. And I think beneficial experience wrestling the full year against full-size kids. Has just one loss on the season to Cody Clempe of Cannon McMillan who is one of the favorites to win a state title in Pennsylvania. Gray won a good semi last night against Aaron Tipkins of Mayfield, who's the biggest heavyweight here. <laughs> Gray actually was able to throw the Mayfield wrestler twice. And he looks to stop Tabnello's bid to become a three-time champ all above 215 pounds. Cavanello also took third as a freshman. He's had one of the most illustrious careers in upwards had in Ohio. Cavanello also ranked in the top ten in the country. And while we're attacking on accolades, he's an all-state football player as an offensive guard. And if it was football, it caused Cavanello to miss Iron Man. A week or two after the season ended, just wasn't ready to start wrestling. Particularly wrestling against the toughest kids in the United States of America with you know, four practices under your belt. Avnell hanging on the head a little bit gray. You wonder if it might not be in Pavnello's best interest to not stay out of tides, but looks a little more athletic, is a little smaller. And maybe could benefit from working from working from space against the Oregon Clay wrestler. Tavano goes underneath to start the period. Gray covers. Switch attempt, turn space, he gets to a leg, he's out. 1-0 lead now, Nick Tavanello. Should this come down to Ryouts, he'll have first choice, which in heavyweight always is a possibility. Actually, a very good heavyweight class in Ohio this year. If Cavanello and Mimo Lytle defending a, a title over on Division Three, that he's Kent State committed, and somebody that wrestling aficionados within the state really like. Super athletic. You also have Riley Shaw of Washington Courthouse defending a state title over on that too. Not very often you have three defending champs in A weight usually dominated by seniors. 40 seconds into this second period, Cavanello up 1 0 with just the escape on the board. A little half shot by Gray. Cavanello gets the leg, doesn't get farther though. 112 left in this period. Tire 1 0 lead. Cavanello will be Gray's choice though in the third. Set up upper body stuff. No real efforts for a leg attack, although from the way he's wrestled this weekend doesn't really need one. Cavano half step, 35 seconds left in this period. We're gonna stall there on Gray. Which has decided a couple matches is now Tavanello pulls hard on the head, gets him moving, can't really spoil it though. 19 seconds left in this period. There's a shot, Gray, nothing doing though. Tavanello backs him out. Now we'll get a stall Tavanello. So both wrestlers have been warned. Again, just something to keep in the back of your mind in the third period. Wadsworth sits in the ninth place right now in the team race. Oregon plays in fifth. Trails 
Solon by, by just a point and Charles Moeller by two and a half. So a gray win would vault Oregon play all the way up to third place in the team standings. Quite the showing for the Northwest Ohio School. Gray is out. Now double Tavanello gets in close to deep. Gray though sprawls back nicely. And nothing to show for it for the future Buckeye. He go out of bounds with a minute and 40 seconds to go. Meanwhile, it's had an O win would shoot Wadsworth all the way up to sixth just behind Oregon Clay. Should he win this one? I would see Ed and Perry way out in front of the team race. 125 left now. Still ear to ear tied up. Double power tie trying to yank down on Tavanello's head. Tavanello three shots off of that. At least makes Gray move. 105 to go now. Gray again goes back to that double power. Will drive Tavanello out of bounds and will restart with 59 seconds left. bigger guys in college. He's not, not particularly tall. There's a stall on Tavanello. Point gray and he leads with 30 seconds left. Nick Tavanello all of a sudden is in all kinds of trouble. As his bid for a third state title just took a major hit with that stall point. 30 seconds left. Gray up 1-0. Two officials are going to talk about it. Megali is not happy. But does not make a difference. As Tavanello trails shot there. Gray heavy on his head. Tavanello is going to need to pull Miracle out. Now 20 seconds left. He's stuck in a front head. There's a stall warning. Gray gives Tavanello a point. So we're tied back up at two with 17 seconds to go. Nobody's happy now. Left in this overtime. Again, 
Drake clubbing hard to a head. 25 to go. Standing with each other for a little bit. Both of these guys starting to visibly tire. Tavanello snaps down. Nothing though. Five seconds left. And that'll do it in the first overtime we go to rideouts. Tavanello wins the flip and will start underneath. Wadsworth coaches yelling encouragement to Tavanello. Gray's gonna cover again. Like I said, this would be the upset of the tournament should Gray win. Tavanello right to his feet. Gets to a leg, he is away. 20 seconds left in this first overtime. Tavanello up 3-2. Gray will go under though in the second half of these ride outs. Shot from way out by Gray. Now reshot. Tavanello shucks by. Gray trying to lift and throw. Got Tavanello off his feet. Now he's to a leg. Five seconds though. Tavanello hops out. And we will go to the Second set of rideouts, Gray underneath with a chance to tie. Time to dig deep for both of these kids. Cavanello covers. Blow the whistle, switch attempt off the whistle. Gray, he's out almost immediately. 3-3. Three, three. 20 seconds left. Gray shoots a single, gets deep. Cavanello goes behind. There's no two yet, there's two awarded. It's on the board. It should be over if he's really awarding two. Instead, he won't give it. Tavanello hanging on to a leg. Gray trying to come around. Five seconds left, Tavanello still holding on. There's your two reversal, Gray. Your winner, Garrett Gray in overtime. No, not a winner, because he awarded two and is gonna call a reversal, five, five. Choice it'll go underneath. That was correct. He did call the takedown at first. I think everybody's confused. That'll be a reversal. And now Gray has to ride. And you saw his reaction. He thought he won the match. He now has to get himself back in mentally and ride Tavanello for 30 seconds. Tavanello gets to his feet. 25 to go. He's out. Nick Tavanello wins his third state title. Heavyweight champ from Wadsworth, Gray is crushed and understandably so. As a strangely officiated bout comes to an end, Nick Tavanello, your winner. Final score 6-5 in rideout.